So if you're the type of person that considers the journey is the adventure, <laughs> grab yourself a scooter. So part of the objective of this video <laughs> is to answer the question you might have, can I ride my scooter from Bangkok to Pattaya? So guys, if you're the sort of person that uh, gets easily offended and insists on people abiding by the rules, particularly the road rules, then my strong suggestion is do not drive or ride in Thailand. Full stop. <laughs> because there are no road rules here, guys. Look at these guys. These are just... <clears throat> these people are just riding up the wrong side of the road. So, Waddy Krupp, everybody. <laughs> so, it's Sunday morning, the 21st of June, 2020. And yes, that is the Honda Click 150. So, the objective is simple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ride the Honda to the beach. So I'm going to ride from Bangkok to Pattaya Jetty, jump on a boat, go over to Koh Lan Island and swim. Pretty simple. Right now it's 7 a.m. and I expect to be on the island around about 12 o'clock. So the trick to the uh, scooter ride folks is to wear a long sleeve shirt so just as I'm riding out of Soy 10 I'm gonna do a u-turn on Sukhumvik Road and head southeast I just thought I'd go through who might benefit from watching this video it won't suit everybody because there is a fair bit of footage which could be deemed boring of me just actually riding from the driver's position but what I'm going to attempt to do is give you some practical advice around riding a scooter in Thailand and how to survive. Number one tip is just, just take the position in your heads when you're riding a scooter that nobody can see you. In other words, you're an invisible rider. If you do that, you're probably going to stay safe. And the other purpose of this video is to actually give you uh, some knowledge on how to actually ride from Bangkok to Pattaya. There's a couple of little tricks. So if you like the content, please leave some comments. Or if you don't like the content, the same. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that uh, reminder button, be much appreciated. Have an awesome day. Bye. So this caught my eye. I was driving down Sukhumvik Road and uh, noticed this area was pretty busy. This is so typical of Thailand. 7 a.m. people just come out and uh, buy food, cook a barbecue over on the right hand side. So this is just, this is down near Prakanon on the BTS line. Uh, there's the monks over there getting their feed for the day. Yeah, I just, I just couldn't resist just pulling in and just showing you guys the uh, atmosphere here. And I've seen about two or three of these type of uh, setups uh, on the way down Sukhumvik Road. So, so basically, I'm sort of sharing this uh, road here with the uh, the locals. Whoops, sorry, mate. Yeah, so there you go. It's an interesting little uh, interesting part of the culture of Thailand. I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. I just want to show you how the road works. You've got the top road, which is a, a cars only. Then you've got a bottom freeway, which is over there to my uh, right a little bit. And then you've got this three lane side road, which is essentially a service road. It's pretty busy. You've got to sort of kind of be careful. There's cars coming on and off this service road all the time. The other thing you've got to do is just watch out for the potholes. There are a few potholes along here. So just follow the signs to Chonburi. 
Don't make the mistake of going up there, because that's the U-turn. <laughs> That'll take you back down the other side. So you've got to keep off these little U-turn bays. That'll take you around about two hours. And just cut along nice and slow and you'll be fine. Absolutely. I've done this about five or six times already. Just a little pit stop. I'm all along the way here guys and uh, you can see this is my this is my luggage here I just put it under the seat of the scooter so it's pretty easy to uh, fit a couple of days luggage under there no problems just be really careful where where the service road has access to the, the bottom freeway because often it can be congested and watch out for the motorbikes coming in the wrong direction on the service road. That's very common. And uh, just don't assume they're going to keep to the left. You know, they, they might want to avoid a pothole or a puddle. Never make any assumptions that a car's going to do what you think it's going to do. It's not, I can assure you. So my experience is that there's no real enforcement of uh, mobile phone laws in Thailand. So a lot of these drivers will be playing a bloody game or watching a movie as they're driving along. So just be super careful, guys. So I've stopped at this particular spot on the road because I just wanted to show you there's the top road, it just stops. As I said earlier, there's a really tricky piece of road about two or three kilometers down. So we're on the service road and we've got to get across to the Chonbury Road. Crazy. I'm going, going, going crazy. So this is the tricky bit. You can see I've got to essentially get over two or three lanes here. And uh, the problem is that often there's a lot of cars that are coming in behind you uh, fairly fast. <laughs> But again, again guys, just if you're riding a motorbike in Thailand, just be super, super careful because a lot of the people that are riding or driving really aren't licensed um, and they kind of just make the rules up as they go, really. So just, yeah, I can't emphasize enough. Just be super, super careful. Just assume that nobody can see you. That's my golden rule. I just, I just pretend that I'm invisible. Uh, so never going to assume that any, anyone's going to get out of my way. Like this, this yeah, he's just going to pull in front of me. I just missed him by a couple of millimetres. So yeah, you just got to assume that nobody can see you. Uh, yeah, and, and you're going to be pretty okay. Lady's gonna cross the road, what she's doing. So it's a pretty busy little area, a little market here as well. So, yeah, look at this dick head, it's gonna fall right out in front of me. Again, same place as last week. <laughs> Bikes uh, parked just just through here. So I'm going to head over to the uh, jetty and um, jump on the ferry and head, head over to Conan for a swim. <laughs> so we just uh, jumped off the ferry here and uh, landed on Conan Island. Overcast day, but I think a bit of beach time is uh, exactly what the doctor ordered here. 
So you might be asking, was it worth jumping on the scooter this morning at 7 a.m. and uh, tackling the Thailand drivers all the way down Sukhumvik Road to Pattaya and then jumping on the ferry and coming to this place? Was it worth it? Mm, let me have a think about it and I'll let you know. <laughs> so, if, if you are fa offended at people who do not obey road rules, do not, under any circumstances, ride a scooter or drive a motor vehicle in Thailand. I cannot make it any clearer than that, guys. I love riding in Thailand. I love the unpredictability about it all. Look at this. They're doing a U-turn on the main freeway. 